Hello everyone, Rob is now here taking a look at Liftoff's milestone update. Uh, this is update 0.12 and we're actually on 0.12.1. Um, the update on Monday, dropped on Monday, uh, the 6th, 5th? 6th of November and the uh, there was a patch uh, which is why we're on 0.12.1 on Tuesday uh, because the new controller configuration screen looks amazing there was a bit of an issue where people were getting stuck in it uh, so that's been rectified with the uh, the patch um, I have come across it once uh, but never again um, so I think it is just a one-off issue um, that people were having um, but yeah I really like what they've done they've they've made it look a lot nicer as you can see I've got a drone that responds uh, based on my stick inputs and if there isn't one that's if it's not responding I can calibrate it nicely and the steps for doing this are just really straightforward and really quick so just looking at how quick it is you just literally follow the stick inputs on the screen um, to identify where uh, the sticks are uh, you center all the sticks after at each point and everything else is pretty much automatic You don't have to do anything apart from what it's showing you to do on the screen You do have a little progress bar at the bottom uh, that comes up in between each input um, And it just shows you how far along uh, in the steps you are which is really nice uh, Because it does give you that sense of oh, I'm nearly there uh, like I'm about to fly um, And once you've done it you just check the sticks all work the way they should and that all looks good to me. You can fine tune it and you can change like dead zones and things like that, which I'm not gonna worry about with the Tyrannus, but if I was using the controller, uh, the 360 controller, for example, not that I want to because I have this, but you know, if you haven't got the equipment, you can, um, then it would be worth, you know, increasing these dead bands uh, so that the uh, sticks on say a 360 controller for example are not as uh, crazy all over the place um, and center better um, but yeah I really like it it looks nice um, it's not very um, uh, daunting it's not intimidating and, it, and they've really cleaned it up and made it really user-friendly uh, the one thing I will say I have got a bit of a nag with is I leave this thing plugged in all of the time um, and so if I turn lift off on and I haven't, you know, got past all my switch warnings on my Tyrannus, then I do get an issue of this is what will get registered uh, as my controller input. And the only way to get past that is to get past all my switch warnings and throttle warnings and so on um, to make sure that this is recognized properly and then close lift off and reopen it again. Whereas before we did have an option of controller one, two, three, and four, and it would just search for different input devices uh, based on the selection you made, um, which was handy. And to be honest, it's not the biggest issue. It's just a little inconvenience for me if I don't get past all my switch warnings because I tend to turn this on and plug it in and I don't press exit on, on some of the warnings um, until I'm you know ready to fly. Um, which is just it's just a bit of a nag and um, other than that I really love it I love what they've done with it the other big change as well is that we can now assign buttons to the switches on the t controller here uh, so it's just a case of you've got all your keyboard shortcuts in here and you can leave them as they are and then you can go along on the right hand side you've got assign buttons to your controller uh, so on this all I've done is just assign the reset key to a switch I've already got mapped on my liftoff um, build within uh, my Tyrannus. Uh, and it's literally just a case of, of doing that. You just uh, go in, select what, what uh, action you want to assign, and then you just press the switch. Providing it's mapped, it will automatically recognize it. If, um, if you've not got switches mapped, so for example, this switch here I don't have mapped, it's not going to recognize anything. Um, so you do have to make sure you've mapped it on your Tyrannus first. Other than that, great feature, um, and I really, really like this update. Um, there's also talk of like resolution improvements within these sticks, and um, I'm not like that proficient, but it does feel like a lot more responsive. Um, so I'm sure there are other people that can tell you exactly how that um, impacts them, but I do find it's a lot more. It, it does like providing my my movements are smooth, then it flies beautifully um, and I really really like it so just to test that uh, switch is working for reset I just flick that down and the game resets my quad for me so I really like this update it's 
it's just it's so wet it's a welcome improvement on the ui and stuff there's a lot that's got gone on behind the scenes that the team have been talking about so it's a great great improvement overall to to like what they've done and i really like the work they've put in so thank you guys at the gus studios and um i'm sorry about my little nag in there but i really like what you've done with it it's a great job good work and i'll see you all guys next time on the next video take it easy